Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be building a Node.js image gallery kind of an application using Express and MongoDB. So this is a simple interface. Here you can choose a image file and let me just choose this file and this is my database which is there on the back end. So if I click this upload image button, it will upload this image file and a success message will come. Your image file is uploaded. I can close this message and this is the image which is styled here using bootstrap and now if I show you the entry if I refresh the database you will see an entry will be made here ID will be automatically assigned and this is the image name which is given to you and uh, if I open uh, this images folder you will find this image file which is stored inside my server in the public folder images folder right here you can see that so now if I want to add some more images let me just zoom out if I again click choose file button once again and uh, let's suppose I want to add this image click upload image and now you will see that it is taking the shape of a gallery so let me add some more images So you can see that four images have been added and if I refresh the page these images will stay because the, these are coming from database they are, they are stored inside MongoDB if I refresh you will see four entries have been there inside the path of the image has been stored inside this property so we will be building this application from scratch in this video so let's get started all the source code of this application is given in the video description I have uh, written a full blog post explaining each and every step and all the source code is embedded and a link is also given to the github repository at the bottom of the blog post this is uh, if you open this link you will redirect to my github repository so you just need to make sure click this button and download the zip file to follow along with the video so let's get started guys so let me first of all stop this server which is running here so let me just close this folder so what you can do here is that you can make a new folder onto your desktop let me just make a node image gallery open this folder onto your command line and first of all we will make the package.json file by initializing npm init dash y and now we need to install the dependency first of all we will install express for our server then we will install malter to upload images to our server this is a malter is a dependency next is the dependency which we will need i have mentioned all these dependencies in my blog post if you look here uh, we will also need express handlebars so this is a template engine as you know handlebars so express handlebars is specific for express and next is mongoose mongoose is a library to connect with mongodb it kinds it acts kind of a interface library so execute these four dependencies install it so this will take some time so just wait so this will install it inside your package.json so i will not pause the video so just wait as it installs and the last dependency which we will need is the node bond dependency which will automatically restart your server whenever you make any kind of changes So now it is added all the packages. So now we will execute npm i dash dash save dash dev. This is a dev dependency, node mod. So this is a very nice dependency to have, node mod. And now after you install all this, you will see this figure inside your package.json. Inside dependency section, all these dependencies will be stored. Express, express handlebars, mongoose, malter and in the dev dependency you will see not one so it is just installing so we will be proceeding to the next step so just wait
so just wait guys it is taking some time so so now you can see that it has installed all these dependencies so I will open this now inside my visual studio code text editor so you can use any text editor of your choice but uh, I prefer visual studio so it is just opening so you will see a file which will be there which is package.json file so this is our file guys if you open this file package.json you need to make some modifications to this file first of all you need to change this index.js to app.js and you need to add a start script so put a comma inside the start, uh, script section and write the start script so it will be node mod app.js that's it so now we need to create our starting point of the application app.js so in this file we will be importing express server and starting it on port 5000 so we will ex import express we will require it then we'll make the app variable this will be simple code in order to start the express app app.listen 5000 in the callback we can just mention that uh, server is listening on port 5000 and guys we need to uh, have a route here so when we open the home route that is this slash request response we need to send out a file or we can send out a response by send method like uh, hello world so let me just start my server npm start so execute it on the command line and you will see your application server is listening on port 5000 so if i open this application if i refresh you will see this hello world if i zoom in you will see hello world is there instead of hello world we need a file so we can just create a simple file for that uh, we need to have a middleware function uh, or we can just initialize our handlebars so we have downloaded the handlebars as a dependency so we can just import it ex just create this variable and we need to require it so require express handlebars like this and now after initializing the express we can just uh, initialize this middleware by app.engine and here we need to pass the first argument as uh, handlebars the name of the engine and next we need to define the we need to invoke this function which we have like this and secondly we need to set the view engine so the first here will go as a view engine so this code you can find on the handlebars official documentation so it is all mentioned there how to initialize handlebars so view engine will be equal to handlebars like this so this is kind of extension uh, the extension can also be like this HBS but I prefer handlebars full extension so after doing this what we can do here is that we can instead of sending out a response we can use make use of a render function and here we can just pass uh, home that's it without having any kind of extension now we need to create some folders first folder that we need to create is a views folder so inside this views folder we need to create a file which will be uh, home dot handlebars so this is a file which we will be loading when we open the uh, application but before that we also need to make a layout file inside this views folder we need to create a layouts folder inside this layouts we need to uh, have our main dot handlebars file like this so inside this uh, we need to initialize our layout so so basically we will be importing the bootstrap CDN and the jQuery CDN so just import this so we will be needing it so I will change the title to let's suppose uh, node.js image gallery like this 
for displaying the bootstrap alert box we also need the bootstrap js cdn so you can just go to just type here go to the official documentation this is bootstrap cdn.com and here you can grab the cdn for the js so this is a js so copy it and just after you import jquery make a script tag and inside the source paste the cd and that's it and now inside this body we need to have three curly brackets like this and right here body that's it this is all you need to do inside your main dot uh, uh, handlebars file that's it so just close it and now we need to go to the home dot handlebar so inside this file we need to write our layout so we will be writing the code so so we will be having the container class of bootstrap after that we will be having a break and then we will be having a simple heading which will be node.js email image gallery so now at this moment of time if i re reload the application if i restart it npm start so what you will find here so it is saying to us that it is not defined so let me just see so just wait guys so let me just see so let me just change this to var here app dot engine handlebars oh sorry we have added this this needs to be p here that was the problem in just naming the variable so that's it and now if i reload the application you will find your heading here node shares image gallery so now we need to make a simple form inside home dot handlebars just after the heading you will have another break, break tag and then we will have the our form so the action will go to the same home route and this time the method will be post and we need to provide any additional parameter encoding type to multi-part form data and inside this we need a simple input file so input file name i will give as image so this name attribute is important you need to give it and also this needs to be required uh, I think we need to also give it a class name so class will be equal to the form control class so if I refresh now you will see a input field here so why it is not looking good let me just see uh, just wait guys so let me just see input type of file let me just now refresh here I think I also need to give give it a label as well so I forgot label this is for Uh, label select image so the label will be simply select image colon so if you refresh here so now you will have a simple label as well so after this we will have a simple button so inside this form group we will have a button btn btn in uh, for having the full space we will use button block and button danger so this will be upload image if you refresh you will see a red button which is there so now the front end is complete now we just need to make a simple post request which will upload the image files to the database so first of all we need to make a public folder here 
so just outside the views folder you need to create a separate public folder so inside this public folder we will again make a new folder which is images so inside this images folder we will be storing all our uploaded images so now to tell express that we need to store these images inside this we will write a piece of code a middleware which is app.use and express.static we will make this folder as static so inside this I will pass here public slash images that's it this line is very much important so just write this line and after this we can import our malter dependency malter so this is required for uploading the image file so malter require it and now we need to I can just at this moment of time in the uh, previous videos I have shown you how to upload image files using Malter so I will not ta uh, waste time in doing so repeating the same code so I, I can just go back to my blog post and I can copy this code and I, I will just explain it what this code is doing so paste it so it is basically making a storage here variable it is using the dist storage variable of Malter method inside this destination we are providing the path of the folder inside which we will be storing files so this is dot slash public slash images in the next argument is it is providing a random file name to each uploaded file which is we have made use of date function date dot now after this we have used this storage and we have passed it as an option to the malter method and we are uploading a single image file at a time you can even upload multiple files but we are uploading single files and now after configuring malter we just need to make a simple post request on the home route uh, request response and now we just need to call this middleware which is upload so this will be request response and the third argument will be error so now we just need to check uh, inside uh, yes if any kind of error take place in uploading the files we can just console log that error first of all console log error and we can just return a simple response saying that some error take place or we can use the end function something went wrong like this but if the image file is uploaded successfully then in that case we can just say in the else block we can print out the path of the image by request dot file dot path like this and we can let me just see if it is working or not if I refresh the application So it is saying to us that express is not defined. So you can see that this is a spelling mistake. So just change the spelling mistake to that. And now it is restarting the server guys. So just wait. Uh, just click the choose file button guys. And now if I upload the image, upload image, you will hopefully see in the console this is a uploaded file path here which we have got and if I check the folder which we have created public and then images and this image file is uploaded good uh, right now we are uploading our task here we are uploading the image now we just need to make sure that we are uploading this image we are uploading the path to the mongodb database so this is pretty simple guys so we now need to create a model for our images where we will be storing images inside the mongodb so here we need to an another create another folder which will be models create this models folder guys inside this you will create a simple file upload.js so inside this guy for inside this file guys we will write the mongoose code so let me just zoom in so that you can see so first of all we will um, import mongoose uh, we need to require it 
require the dependency which is mongoose and then we will use the mongoose.connect method and then we will use this string guys so if you know how to connect to mongodb database this is my community addition database which is there if i refresh here let me see if i delete all the let me just delete the collection drop the collection now if i write this name here drop collection so the database has been uh, deleted now we need to create a database first of all so this will be images db so we have named this at images db and we also need to create a collection which is table so i have named it as uh, images or uh, image right now let me just create the database you will see the database has been created so how to connect to it is very simple mongodb colon slash slash and then you will write localhost and then the port number port number is constant for mongodb which is 27017 so this is same for every computer slash your uh, database name in my case this is uh, images db images db that's it and after this guys in the second option this takes some options first option is uh, use new url parser this needs to be true and the second option is uh, use unified topology this also needs to be true so now we have defined our connect method now to check that if the database has been connected we will declare a db variable and inside this we will use mongo mongoose dot connection string so this needs to be mongoose dot connection connection and now we will check we will be invoking some callback methods on it db dot on and if any kind of error take place this uh, this will return the error to us we can console log the error like this console log dot so i console dot error dot uh, bind we can bind to the console write this comma and then we can have a simple text that connection error if the database has been successfully connected db dot once and inside this we need to pass open and inside the second parameter there will be a callback function callback and inside this callback function we can just say that uh, db connected that's it and uh, that's it guys now we need to define the schema let me just name it as upload schema so this needs to be new mongoose dot schema method we need to use and inside this we need to provide properties so there will be only one property which will be image name this will be of type string that's it now we need to export the schema we need to make a model of it so we will declare upload model this needs to be mongoose dot model and we need to pass our schema first let me just name it the table name this will be image and the table will be created as plural that is image s will be added images will be the table name and then we will provide the schema which is upload schema that's it and now we will export this file module.exports we will export this model like this that's it and this is a code guys now we need to include this file inside our app.js this is pretty simple we need to go to the right top and we need to write image model and we need to require it from uh, it is there inside the models folder and slash upload that's it so after doing that after doing this guys we need to use this model so just after we save this file uh i'll just after we ma make the post request you can see that we need to uh, make sure we get the file name so we can get the file name by request dot file dot uh, file name so after getting the file name uh, we can just uh, 
declare another variable which will be holding the details image details and this will be equal to the new uh, image model that we have uh, imported right here at the top here we are making the constructor of it and as you all know this constructor will expect the image file name so this field you need to provide so if you check here you you have uh, provided a schema value you can see that image name so this needs to be same so image name will be equal to the actual file name that we have got right here and after this guys we need to invoke the save the save method of the mongodb database that's it we need to save the file and this contains a callback function so if any kind of error take place or if the document is successfully uploaded so in case of any any error we can throw that error throw error like this and if the mongodb has successfully saved the data then in that case we can just say uh, image data so i think image data we need to declare right here at the top but let me just see first of all if it is saving the data or not so for that guys let me just refresh the application if i select the image file upload image uh, you will see let me just see my database images database let me just delete this table here image let me just create create this uh, database once again which is uh, images db and the collection name is image so we need to refresh it image db and let me just have image if you create it so just wait guys it it can take it, it can take some time so let me just refresh here let me have choose file once again upload image so you can see the message which is coming here db connected because the database was connected successfully and now hopefully it has created some files so so if i open the database you will see the collection name which is opened here you can see that images if i see the you can see the image name is there it is storing the image name and now we need to only display these image image files inside our directory so it is very simple guys so we need to first of all make a variable right here at the top which is image data so this is pretty simple image data we need to make use of a model function of mongodb which is image model and there is a find method we need to pass empty object to it that's it and in this image data here we need to execute image data there is a execute method it will uh, fetch all the records from the table so this will also return a callback so function first is error and second is data if any if any sort of error take place in that case we can throw the error and if no error take place then we can display the data so we can use response dot render and we can render the home template once again and this time we can pass some data to it so we can pass the records the data 
and also we need to pro provide a success message to true because we also need a success alert box also appearing for that to happen guys we need to make sure some things inside our home.handlebars file just before the form here uh, we need to have a if block to display that success message let me just show you how to do this so you will have a double curly brackets and inside hat symbol you will write and if and there was a success variable that we have declared so if it is equal to true in that case we know that a image file has been uploaded we need to also close it in that in that uh, block of code we need to write a alert box guys so alert alert success and this will be dismissible as well so alert dismissible so these are all the bootstrap classes guys so you can just uh, go to the documentation so this will not point to anything and there will be a class which is assigned to it of close and data dismissed attribute will also be have alert and area label to close and this has a special symbol which is and symbol times so cross symbol if you say and then after this anchor anchor tag we will have a simple strong tag inside the strong tag we will have a success message and then we will say that your image file has been uploaded your image file is uploaded and now if you see guys you will see what you will see here if i reload if i choose the file if i upload it you will see a success message which is coming here right here at the top your image file is uploaded if i close this you will see the it will close as well and now we just need to display the images that were stored inside the database it is pretty simple we will display it using the each block just after the form this is the thing that i like about uh, this handlebars the syntax is very easy we need to declare this each and then we will loop through the records that we have got and we need to close it each here and the process is very simple we again need to have another each here each and here we need to pass this and again we need to close this each so this is kind of an inner loop and now inside this we need to have our image so source will be equal to this dot image name and uh, we can even style it as well so style width will be equal to 100 percent and that's it guys and also we need to attach a bootstrap class of uh, image thumbnail that's it now if i refresh as i reload the page uh, let me just see what is the problem Oh sorry, our hash symbol was missing, so that was creating the problem. So now if I reload the application, you will not see the images, but if I upload it, you, now you will see. If I drag down, you will see all the images which were uploaded, you can see. But uh, the image, uh, the application is not complete, the, it is not practical. When we reload the application, it is not showing the images. For that, we need to just fix it inside our app.js it is pretty simple we even want to pass this response to our render when we launch the page so this is pretty simple so just go to the get request so here we need to pass plus comma we need to pass our records so this will be equal to the data and for the data to have we need to execute this image data let me just copy this whole code and paste it here so we, 
This time we don't need to pass the success variable because we are loading the page for the very first time. So if I reload, now you will see all the images which will be there inside the database which are loading here. If I just zoom out. So this was a gallery kind of an application guys in Node.js. I think that you have liked this video. Please like the video. Please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. And all the source code is given in the video description. Check the description and go to my blog and download the source code. And I will be seeing you in the next video.